Hi guys, it's Brian from Anarchy Models here. Today we're going to be looking at using two of our stencils, the World War II USA Stars and the German Crosses. So this is the, uh, the crosses here. As you can see it's an A4 sheet. You've got lots of different sizes on there. And this is the Stars. This is just printouts of the actual stencil. So again, an A4 sheet, lots of different sizes on there. And we're going to be putting the insignias on some of these plastic soldier company tanks. These are 1 to 70 second and these are 15 mil scale. So to start with we're going to go for the uh, USA Stars. So we'll move those German tanks out of the way. And this is the stencil sheet here. As usual you can't actually see them on the camera very well. You have to just trust me that they're there. So most of the stencils on the sheet are what we call a negative stencil. So this is a small star here, if I just remove the middle star, you can see, if I move that so you can see it, you can see you have a little star in the middle there, and we're actually going to be using this to create the image, whereas on some of the other stencils we use the other piece, the positive piece, which is this piece here, but you can use these as well, and I'll show you that as well today. So. Let's uh, put a little star onto here, so we get the stencil, choose where you want it to go, I'm going to put a star there. It's also a good idea to press them down firmly and then we'll mask off around the rest of that in a second. And let's use a different sort of star on the other tank. I think we'll go for this one here. Now, as we can see, some of the parts have been left behind. Some of them have stayed in the sheet, some of them are in here. So what I normally do is uh, just pop them off onto a bit of paper down there and get rid of them. We can keep the little star, so we can use that. Stick it on the sheet somewhere else. So let's put this on the side here. Press it on firmly. Now we just need to mask around the rest of the vehicle. To make sure we don't get the insignia paint over the rest of the tank. So this is just normal masking tape. Now ideally you do do both sides of the vehicle at the same time here, but I'm just going to do this one to start with. There, so I'll fix that. And we'll do the same on the 15 mil turret. So, these are now ready for painting. Got some white paint in here. So, as normal with stencils, it's a light coating to start with. A little bit closer, you can see it. Let's do the other one while that one's drying. Again. As you can see, I'm not doing it too heavily, just 
straight away and she can end up with it running. So I'm just going to leave those to dry for a second. I mentioned earlier about that we can use the leftover stars from the stencils, the positive stars. So I'm just going to do it on this piece of plastic out here. You create a white area. Just imagine this is on the side of the tank. Let's just dry that off enough. So, what we can do is on the sheet, inside some of the actual insignias, and also some spares, stars on the sheet. You've got some loose stars. Put that over the area you've sprayed white or red if you're doing Russians. And then spray the area with the base coat. Leave that to dry for a second. Go back to our original little turret. This is our 15mm turret. Let's remove the tape. So we take the stencil off. As we can see, we're left with the little star. Painted on there nice and precisely, there's no carrier film like on a decal. So it's painted straight on there, and we can save this stencil, straighten it out, stick it back on the sheet, and use it another time. One of my friends has told me he's used a stencil just like one of these here, and he's used it 35 times before the stickiness run out. <laughs> it's quite a lot of uses. And then, of course, there's lots more on the sheet than just one little stencil. So let's have a look at this other one. There we go. Start on the side there. Move that out of the way. So going back to our other sheet here. This was using the positive star. Just carefully remove that. As we can see you're left with the star the other way around. So there's, there's the two choices. You can use the positive shape, like this star here, or you can use the, the negative shape, like we've used here, depending on which is easiest for you to use at the time. So that's the USA stars. Very quick and easy to use. You can do a whole army very quickly. So, moving on. And we're going to do some of the German crosses. So we've got the Again, Plastic Soldier Company tanks here. And as we can see here, this is the German crosses sheet. They've got various different sorts of crosses here. I'll show you how to use them. So, this is the sheet here. So, before we can use these, you need to remove the extra pieces for the chevrons. So let's pick the uh, right size first. I think this one here is about the right size. So we'll peel that off. And as you can see, just about in the camera maybe, the uh, extra pieces have stayed put. So you have a choice here, you can either remove them by hand, like this, you just pick them out of the scalpel. In real life you'll better see these, it's just on the camera, it's very difficult to show up. So you can pick them off yourself like that. Or a quicker way is I uh, use the back of the sheet normally. Just press it onto the back of the sheet and peel it away and you'll have them removed there. So then that one's ready to use. And the other piece, you just have one big piece to remove, so we get rid of that. So to start with, you need to use this piece. 
so you've got the big cross piece here so we'll put that on the turret and you position it there you can see through the stencil so it's easy to position it I think that's uh, about right there so you press that down firmly That's uh, that one, and then I'm going to put another one on this one. So let's find a nice small one to go on there. Find it easy to if you put the model right next to the stencil sheet, it's easier to see. So we use the very smallest one. Remove the centre cross. So we put it like this. Put that on the side of the turret. There we go. So now, as before, we need to carefully mask off the rest of the turret that should be enough the same for this one There we go. So, the first colour we'll need is we need black. So I'm just going to change colours. So, here we are with our black paint. And as usual, just a light coating to start with. There's lots of light coats, but it's blasting it on really heavy. I'm sure these are thoroughly dry, it's just the air now, just drying it. Paint again in the air. Let's finish off the other one. The air here, and the paint again. That's the air. Make sure these are nice and dry for the next stage. So the next part of this is we need to remove the tape. We've make, got to make sure that the stencil stays put. So here, you want to make sure you keep it from peeling away and you peel the tape away. So you carefully peel the tape off. This is why I didn't overly tape it to start with. So again, carefully removing the tape. Try not to lift up the stencil. And if you do, carefully press it down again. And the other one. Now you're probably wondering why we're removing the tape. We haven't finished yet, obviously. Um, we need to put the next stencil on. So, 
going back to our sheet here we'll just remove the chevrons in there that we don't need just on a bit of paper here back of the sheet it sticks better There you go, so we can just about see in the camera. We have the uh, L shapes there. Now, the trick is here you use off the sheet, you use the one that was right next to the original size, as you can see here, and also you can see you have a cutout in the corner here. You see that? Now, you need to line that up with the original stencil. See it has the nick in the corner, they both have it. So you line them up and you overlap the stencil carefully. It might be useful to lean it on something while you're doing this. This can take a couple of attempts to try and line up perfectly. And see I haven't done it this time. There we go. So press firmly. Sure, it's got a good seal, and then retape it. So we can use the bits of tape from before if you've kept them. There you go, so that should be enough there. Just mask it with the other one. So again, you need to make sure they line up. So you line up the notches, and as you can see this is a different shape has been cut out of the corner, and you'll see the difference of those in a minute. And this can be quite fiddly to line up. There we go. So again, press firmly. Especially on this model with the Zimmer mitt here, Got all the texture, you make sure you press the stencil really firmly into that. Okay. And then mask it back over again. I'll get some fresh tape this time. So there we go. So now we've done the black, now it's time for the white. So we have the white in the airbrush already. So again, light coats. So you can see it. If you've got several models to do, you can chop between them like I am, so you're not going to risk getting your paint too wet. You can use just the air now, just to dry it. Paint again. Go back to my other turrets.
So here we go. So now this is the case of peeling the sensor away. So remove the tape. And uh, you can peel the stencils apart. Like so, if we put these back on the sh on the uh, stencil sheet, we can use these again. So I'll put that back where it was, and the same with the other piece. There we go. Put that back on the sheet. And the uh, original one here. If you slide a knife between the two stencils, you can peel them apart. and stick them back on the sheet. Just remove them off the tank for now. Carefully peel them apart. Put that back over there. So, as we can see, we have the cross there with the different style. So we have the two styles here, so you have the ones with the notch here, creates that style, the ones with the V cut out, create this style. Of course if you wanted to, you could just use just this piece, so we put that on the other side. Make sure it's straight. Some masking tape again. Some light dusting. There we go. You can use it just with the L shapes if you want to and create that. So let's put them back on our tank. So that's the uh, Wobble 2. German crosses. As you can see, lots of other sizes on the sheet. It's up to some much, much large ones, very small. And as we saw at the beginning, the World War II stars, which if you use the red for just the plain stars, you could use it for Russians as well. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.